depression in its proper place. Into the graveyard. Now we can put depression into the graveyard! Where it belongs! <laughs> depression will always endure it is inevitable. <laughs> yeah, to come here. Come here, depression. said, nah, Uno reverse that shit. One of you's the murderer. Figure it out. <laughs> That's the most fucking Nagito thing that he could do. And he's not even alive anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna make a complex trial. Nagito really said, this one's for the girls and the guys and the days. <laughs> How can you write a plot this intricate? Ignore all complexity and sentencing, right? <laughs> Is this thing on? Is this thing working? I sure hope it is. Uh, crazy how you let gravity play you like that. You know, it's crazy how much I let you all take advantage of me, okay? <laughs> Couldn't be me. Could be you. Totally could be you. <laughs> oh my goodness, though. My friends and fiends, welcome, welcome to stream today. I am just getting some last minute posts out. So please bear with me just one moment. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Alrighty. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome. We're finally not playing Dongaropa. We're back to being a Pokemon variety streamer. <laughs> oh my goodness. It, you know, it, it's kind of after how many weeks we've had between Pokemon games. Uh, it, it's been a little while to remember. Oh yeah, Melissa, you're a Pokemon variety streamer. <laughs> For now, exactly, exactly. We, the, okay, the next Dognamropa-esque game would be Rain Code, and that still doesn't have a release date, but it's gonna come out sometime between March and April, so we're good. And that's like late March, so we got like a solid month and a half at least without Dognamropa games, and then we'll play V3 after Rain Code. <laughs> uh, but oh my gosh, everybody. Um, I've got some quick announcements for y'all today. So let's just get through it super quickly. Um, as always, I've got a YouTube and it has a TikTok. Oh, is this not working? <gasps> no, why is this not working? Stream Deck. Stream Deck! The fuck? It works on like half the things. Oh my gosh. Well, I got a YouTube and I got a TikTok too as well. You can do exclamation point TikTok as well, but I'm gonna do the YouTube. I upload every Wednesday over there. And we also have our VOD channel, which is taking a little bit of a break on a VOD channel just to get some um, videos backlogged. Um, but that's gonna be new uploads every week. 
on both channels. Uh, more on the VOD channel than the regular channel, the mainline channel. We're really getting into pre-recorded territory. We're not getting into stream highlight territory right now, so I'm very excited. Um, there are some games that are only going to be on the YouTube channel, so if you want all of the content, uh, definitely go check out the YouTube channel. Links uh, right there. You can do YouTube and go to it as well. I would also like to encourage you all to come join our Discord server because... This week and next week on Fridays, so Friday the 10th and Friday the 17th, we're going to be watching the entirety of Yuri on Ice over those two weeks. So on the 10th, which is this Friday coming up, we're going to be watching episodes 1 through 6 of Yuri on Ice together. Um, and that'll be at 4.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you can't come or stay for the full time, it is okay to pop in at random times. Um, but those are the episodes that we'll be watching on each of those days. So... The 10th, we'll be watching the first half, which is episodes one through six, which is this coming Friday. And then the following week, which is my brother's birthday, <laughs> um, we'll be watching episodes seven through 12, because there are only 12 episodes of Yuri on Ice. And Mappa, Mappa, I need ice adolescence still, okay? I, I, I beg, I beg. I demand, but I beg. <laughs> um, also, also, some of you will be excited for this. Um, we're going to be starting Terraria next week <laughs> next week we're gonna be playing terraria a little bit it has been a long requested game by some particular members of our community i love you all very much um whether you are a friend fiend or somewhere in between of course um but yeah i bought it we're gonna play it uh we're gonna try it out um yeah also, a lot of you have been, want, have been um, telling me, hey, Melissa, there's this cool game you should play. Or, oh, hey, Melissa, why don't you check this out? You guys can do that right here from within chat. You do exclamation point game rec, so G-A-M-E-R-E-C, uh, a space, and then you type the name of the game that you want to recommend to me. So if you wanted to recommend, for example, the new Dead Space that came out, you would do this. And Dead Space... You do that, and it should show up in chat. And it's sent to the Discord server. And then you go to our Discord server, there's a game suggestions channel, and it goes right there. Um, also, also, we have new bits badges. They're very exciting. Um, I got these very cute Pokeball inspired badges that match the way the Twitch ones look, the Twitch default ones. And I really, really like them. I really, really like them. So if you guys use bits, um, you will see that you get a fancy little badge now that looks like a little Pokeball and it's perfect. And I love them very, very much. Um, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop our music because again, my stream deck is not working with everything and I don't know why. Um, <laughs> oh goodness, I am so excited, you guys. Um, also, I wanna show you guys something. So normally, when we do um, DS games, especially when we've been doing our Nuzlocks, uh, <gasps> Dina, thank you so much for the 10 biddies. <laughs> Why do little chipmunks finally get their way? What is it? My turn. Dina, let me double check your recommendations. What game recommendations have you made? Let me see. I know you've made some. Let me see if they're on the list. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Let me see. Uh, crystal clear and let me see what is this one the trolley problem give me the badge um i think you have it you just have to oh you've got so many badges see uh, uh, bleh. can't talk today twitch lonely lets you have three badges at a time so you have to customize which ones you want to have shown you can do that with the gear at the bottom gotta put persona in there do it put persona in there do it <laughs> I would love to play Persona, any Persona game, I think. I think they'd all be fun. I'm not sure, though. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Oh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth. That was another game you recommended. I, I would be... I, would, I wouldn't mind playing a Digimon game. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. That'd be a very fun. All right. So, normally, when we do our Nintendo DS streams, this is what it normally looks like, right? Right? We have the game, and then I have the whole thing on there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no. This is what we're doing for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Look! I'm big 
Sure. Um, <laughs> so what's going to happen is the game is going to show up here in a moment. And the reason I haven't opened the game yet is because the intro is very important. Um, and I need you guys to actually like pay attention to the opening. <laughs> um, so I haven't opened it yet. But basically, you guys get that whole sidebar. That's your guys' space. Far away from me. No, I'm kidding. Um, but that's your guys' space. And then right below me, this is now where all the alerts are going to come through. When we're on this screen, so all of our alerts, whenever you guys make a Pokemon appear using Here Comes the Boy, whatever you decide, it'll show up here. It'll show up down there. So I'm very excited. Um, and we're gonna, we're just honestly gonna hop into Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Time. Now, I have not played this since I was like a child and this game came out. I kid you not. Um, <laughs> so I'm very excited. This game has made me cry. This game, I think about parts of this game and they make me cry. So, okay. Also, let me know if this is too loud or too quiet. I can adjust. I think I'm going to move the sound up a little bit because it does sound a little quiet. Let's try that. Okay. Ah, I love this intro so much. It's so nostalgic. The discovery of a lifetime. The start of a new adventure. <laughs> Welcome to a grand tale. It's so pretty. A tale that spans time and darkness. It's so pretty! It's the dawn of epic exploration! The gears! Oh, the gears! gonna cry uh, i've only played the one on the switch which i enjoyed okay so timeline so the switch one is a remake of the very first pokemon mystery dungeon games pokemon mystery dungeon explorers of time and darkness are the sequels to those first games so you're right on timeline with where you need to be at least with those remakes and okay so the way every new game starts out is you have to of course Take a personality quiz. Uh, Myers-Briggs who? I only know the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon test. Welcome. This is the portal that leads to the world inhabited by only, only by Pokemon. Beyond this gateway, many new adventures and fresh experiences await your arrival. Before you depart for adventure, you must answer some questions. Be truthful when you answer them. Now, are you ready? Then, let the questions begin. So... We can do one of two things. I can try to get a certain Pokemon, or we can let the game just play itself out. I'm kind of okay with whatever, but you know, we'll just, we'll go with whatever. Let it ride, yeah, we'll just, personality test. Okay, I'm gonna answer these as honestly as possible as I can, okay? Okay. You want to reveal that you like someone a whole bunch. What do you do? Show it a little by playing together, make it obvious by playing a prank, state it clearly for all to hear, keep to myself, it's too risky. Um, this is a hard question, I'm very ace, and I don't, I don't know. I'm like friends with people that I've been interested with first. Even Suha. And Suha was in a relationship when we first met, so... Um, I guess... Like... He, he, you literally... I, I know! I literally have a girlfriend! Um, I mean, I guess... Now I stated... I guess... I, I stated all to here. We'll just go with that. Your friend is crying right in front of you. What made that happen? Someone bullied my friend. My friend fell down, no doubt. I wonder if it's my... I wonder if it's my fault. It's too real! <laughs> Are you a rebel at heart? Totally. Of course not. Are you a city person or a country person? I'm a city person. For sure. Uh, I like the idea of the country, but not, not the ideals of the country. 
You're told to wait in a big empty room. What do you do? Wait quietly, search for something to do, wander outside, cradle my knees and s Pokemon, are you okay? Uh, I, I'll probably search for something to do while I'm in that room. You run into a new person that you haven't talked to very much before. What do you do? Um, I, I probably make small talk. Honestly, fetal position. I know, really. They were like, do you curl up in a corner and cry? Oh, God. Okay, can you strike up conversations with new people easily? Yes. Yes, I make most of my friends at conventions. Uh, you're on a walk when you smell something delicious. What do you do? Try to imagine what it is. Find out what it is. Think about how hungry I am. Oh, I think about how hungry I am. Are you male or female? I am female. Okay. And now your aura will be analyzed. Your aura is the energy that you radiate. By the way, the aura and um, the Pokemon you get do not necessarily correlate. Relax, calm yourself. Now press your fingertip gently on the touch screen. So this is something that was super cool is you would put like your finger on the actual screen so it would like scan you. Um, obviously we can't do that, but I can still click on it with my mouse. That's right, stay perfectly still. Take a deep breath and now exhale. Your aura has now been identified. Lift your finger from the touch screen. Your aura is... I keep getting the same aura. Oh my God. Neither could the Dia, so it's fine. <laughs> Thank you for answering all those questions. You seem to be the impish type. Oh, you really like to play a lot and you enjoy eating a lot. I feel called out. You love competition, but you hate losing. Also true. Your personality seems crystal clear to others. With you, what you see is what you get. You cheer others with your dazzling smile. Do I have a dazzling smile, chat? <laughs> but you may be afraid of showing what's up in your heart and revealing your true self. You may not want to keep your worries to yourself. You're only human, so ask your friends for advice when you need. Adorable. Thank you. <laughs> So an impish type like you will be a chimchar. I don't want to be a chimchar. No. And finally, who will be your partner? Choose the Pokemon you want for a partner. Ah, uh, yay! You're like yay, chimchar. Oh, I hate chimchar. Okay, so here are our options. Um, so we get to pick between Piplup, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Pikachu, Chikorita, Totodile, and Trico. Because of some stuff that's gonna happen, I am going to pick Trico. Trico is always my partner Pokemon in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. It just has to be. Ah! Okay, we get to name. I wanted a fire starter. Didn't matter which. Fair enough. I was hoping to get Cyndaquil, but alas. All right, we're gonna call Trico Tree Tree because that is the name of my plushie. Hi, Dizzy! Welcome on in! You got a cute token today. It's adorable. Welcome on in. We just got started. We're picking our uh, our partner Pokemon right now. We're gonna have our little tree go named Tree Tree. I love Tree Tree. Tree Tree's adorable. <laughs> okay, that's it. You're all ready to go. And we are at Chimchar. You're off to the world of Pokemon. Be strong, stay smart, and be victorious. I was kind of hoping for a Totodile as well to play as. Chapter one, a storm at sea. Whoa, whoa. Are, are you okay? No, don't let it go, don't let go. Just a little longer. Come on, hang on. N no, I can't, hold on. Wah! The, the classic wah. <laughs> This is so pretty. Like, this holds up. This holds up so far already. I'm like, yes. <laughs> Whoa. Sharpedo Bluff! I'm so excited, you guys. Uh, pixel art doesn't age. It doesn't. It's classic. Where? Where am I? I can't. Drifting off. <laughs> oh no! Are we dying? Much like cell shading, yes. Absolutely. Huh? Oh, it's Tree Tree! 
No, I refuse to be paralyzed by this any longer. This is it. I have to steal my courage today. Pokemon detected. Pokemon detected. Whose footprint? Whose footprint? This footprint is Trico's. The footprint is Trico's. What? <gasps> There's your bits badge! Oh my gosh, it's so cute! d dog. Oh my gosh, do you see it? It's so cute. That was too shocking. Oh. I can't... I can't work up the courage to go in after all. I told myself that this is the day, but... Yeah, the Pokeballs! There are new bits badges! They're so cute! I love them so much. <laughs> I thought that holding on to my personal treasure would inspire me. Oh, clicking on the wrong screen. <laughs> uh, I, I can't, I just can't do it. I'm such a coward. Oh, tree tree. This is so discouraging. Little tree tree. Also, I took all the snowflakes off finally, but they're on the bed behind me. Hey, Zubat, did you get a load of that? You bet I did, coughing. A little, a little wimp was that was pacing around had something good, right? That, that wimp had something, that's for sure. Looked like some kind of treasure. Do we go after it? We do. Ooh, the poison Pokemon are bad. Poison Pokemon be heckin' bad. Sorry, this will make more sense later when we get to the end of the game, but... <laughs> wow, what a pretty sight. There's no bad Pokemon. True. True, true. It's so pretty. Maybe turn it up some more. Okay, I can turn up the volume. No problem. Not a problem. This game is much quieter than some of our others we play, so I have it set to 69 now. Is that better? Or is that too loud? With the weather's good, the Krabby came out at sundown to blow bubbles. All those bubbles catching the setting sun's rays off the waves. It's always beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty! It's so pretty! <sighs> this is where I always come when I'm feeling sorry for myself. But it makes me feel good to be here like always. Coming here is uplifting. It cheers me up. Hey. What's that? What's going on over there? What? Someone's collapsed from the sand. What happened? Are you okay? Uh. <laughs> like I was taking a nap. <laughs> You're awake. That's a relief. Where the heck are we? <laughs> where where am I? We weren't moving at all. I was seriously worried. Also, I'm gonna turn my brightness up a little bit, I think, too, cause I can't. There we go. Do you remember how you ended up passed out out here? I I was passed out? What happened? Well, I'm Tree Tree. Glad to meet you. And who are you? I've never seen you around before. What? You say you're human? You look like a totally normal chimchar to me. Oh no. <laughs> it, it's true. I've turned into a chimchar. But, but how did this happen? I don't remember anything. You're, you're a little odd. Are you pulling some kind of trick on me? You're telling me the truth? All right, then what, your name? Oh, our name. I keep clicking off the game. What's your name? My name? That's right, my name is... We're gonna name ourselves Melissa. <laughs> I'm gonna turn on my breath. Turn my breath. Literally turns on a light. How? <laughs> I just. It was a little dark. I felt like I was. I was hiding from you guys. I didn't want to hide from you. Okay. M E L I S S 
Hey, this was one of the first Pokemon games that could actually fit my full name because most Pokemon games at first would only allow six characters for the name and my name is seven. So I was like, yay, finally I can have my actual name in a game. Is the name Melissa okay? It sure is. Oh, Melissa is your name. Okay, well, you don't seem to be a bad Pokemon at least. Goddamn, Trico, sorry to be judgmental. Sorry that I doubted you. More and more bad Pokemon have been turning up lately, you see. Many Pokemon have gotten aggressive lately. Many Pokemon have gotten... Oh, <laughs> things have grown somewhat lawless. Like now! Oh, god damn! That Zuba just body slammed Tree Tree! Ouch! Well, I do beg your pardon. Hey, why'd you do that? <laughs> can't figure it out. We wouldn't mess with you. Can't face up to us, can you? What? what? That's yours, isn't it? N no, that's... Sorry, kiddo. We'll take that. God damn, Zubat. Ah! <laughs> You're not gonna make a move to get that back? What's the matter? Too scared? Didn't expect you to be such a big coward. Come on, let's get out of here. God, Coffee and Zubat being assholes. See you around, chicken. <laughs> I do like the voice I gave Zubat, though. <laughs> I feel like Zubat's now. Every Zubat you ever find sounds like that. They go, <laughs> Oh, what should I do? That's my personal treasure. It means everything to me. If I lose that... No, there's no time to waste. I've got to get it back. Hey, can I get you to help me? Sure, why not? <laughs> oh, you will? You will help me? Oh, thank you. Let's go quickly. All right, Tree Tree. <gasps> Our first dungeon. I'm excited. Head for the stairway and attack enemy. Wait, can I move with the these keys? Oof. I might need to rebind that later, but we'll be good for today. <laughs> Head for the stairway and attack enemies by pressing A. When you encounter enemies, you'll choose a move before they do. Okay, so we'll just go up, though. There we go. <laughs> okay, I'll actually be fine. You can carry one item. The items you find on the floor have a variety of useful effects. If you find an item, open the menu with X and use the items. Okay, that's not my actual buttons, but it's fine. Ooh, we got a Shellos. Okay, thank you, Tree Tree. I was not expecting us to be able to do that. I feel so slow. I feel so ridiculously slow. I used to have like a speed up thing on, uh, I played this game with an action replay because after a certain point, things get very difficult. An orange berry restores HP, got it. Pretty standard Pokemon Mystery Dungeon stuff. If you've played one Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, you've played a lot of them. In some areas, you'll see the ground tile. Okay. By the way, I'm gonna keep those screens like this for now because eventually the bottom screen will go to the top. Um, oh, we can't get that. Actually, no, I might need to adjust the screen sizes. Cause this one is kinda, kinda needing to be small. I'll put you there. And this one will make a lot bigger. I think that should be good, yeah? Here, I'll make this one a little smaller. This one can be a little bit bigger. Yeah, I think that works. What do you guys think? Does that work? I think that works. Okay. <laughs> Have questions about anything? You can check out hints. All right, cool. So now we get to play. Got a little Corsola. Oh, I keep trying to go for items and I can't get them. I'm used to having like... Oop, oop, hold on. Back up, don't wanna use that. There we go. <laughs> I'm so used to having like a big bag of holding basically. <laughs> but I'm really excited to be replaying this because um, it is very dungeon-y, you know? It's all about dungeons, so I love a good dungeon crawl. Huh? Hey! Well, well, if it isn't our old friend, the big chicken. Neither of us are Torchic, so I don't know who you're calling a chicken. Error. Give me, give me back what you stole from me. That's my personal treasure. It means everything to me. Treasure, you say? So that thing really is valuable, huh? It could be worth more than we'd hoped for, I'd say. We ought to try selling it. Who knows, it might get a good price. Ho, 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 ho. All the more reason not to give it back. What? If you want it back that badly, come and get it. <laughs> time our first boss battle let's go 
All right, we're just gonna go for the Zubat. I think Zubat will be easier to get and then the coffee. This first battle is not hard though. You can't even recruit anybody yet, so it's not that hard. Come on. Come on, do not kill Tree Tree. You killed Tree Tree! How dare you? Wait! Wait! I have to make Tree Tree eat the Orin Berry? I've never lost that first level. The fuck? What? what? I've never lost that first level. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Oh, wow, well, that didn't go well. I guess if either of us faints, the other one can't carry on. Could this be what they're calling a mystery dungeon? Uh, hey, this isn't the time for this. Uh, we've got to find coffee and his sidekick to recover my item. Let's go, Melissa. All right, Tree Tree, whatever you say, buddy. Whatever you say. First time for everything. You know, you're so right. All right, I'm just trying to... Just trying to get here. If nothing else, we can maybe grind a little bit? No, the stairs are right there. I'm not gonna... That's the thing in this game. I am, like, hardwired for, like, if I see stairs, I go to the stairs. Like, that's just... That's just how it is. Okay. Like, that's what I'm hardwired for. <laughs> okay. Um, what's down here? Ah, uh, just another sleep seat. Oh, that's how I go fast! That's how I do the zoomies. There we go! Oh my gosh, I'm glad I figured that out now. I'm going to forget next time we play. But... <laughs> okay, let's try again. Luckily, it's not a long dungeon. There are dungeons that are, like, endless. And then there's dungeons that are, like, 100, 200, 300 floors. It's crazy. What are you still doing here? I thought you would have gotten far away by now. You, shut up. We gotta find our way out of this place. Oh. <laughs> but there's nothing to fear, is there? It's only you. Yeah, <laughs> one's a pushover, always a pushover. We'll show you what a wimp you all are. You all... You are all over again. I can't fucking read. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm like, I can't fucking read. All right. Maybe you go for the coughing this time. I don't have an orange berry this time, so... Ooh, that's not great. That's not great. That's not great. Ooh, that's, mm, that's really not great. Yeah, it's a great concept with wonderful narrative and god-awful level design. <laughs> what do you mean, awful level design? Okay, let's see items, sleep seed, throw. <gasps> Yay, Zubat fell asleep. Okay. There we go. Yay! <laughs> this has great level design. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Ow, wow, wow! We got roughed up. Sure did. Sure did get roughed up. Plus, to help we get wiped out by wimps like them. Bah, here you go. Take it then. Whoa, -ho, don't think you're so awesome. Your victory was a fluke. Yeah, you just remember that. Bye bye, coughing. Bye bye, Zubat. We will never see them again. Oh, it's my relic fragment. Am I ever glad I actually did manage to get it back? It's only because you agreed to help me, Melissa. Thank you. Aww. Tree Tree's so cute. Thank you, seriously. I only help because I happen to be there. Was that the right thing to do? Until they evolve, exactly. I guess so. This Pokemon was clearly grateful. It's nice to be appreciated. Here's what they stole. I call my relic fragment. It's my one treasure. You see, I've always liked legends and lore. Lore. I always get so excited when I hear tales from the past. Don't you feel the same way? Hidden lore troves full of treasure and strange relics. Uncharted territories veil veiled in darkness. And new lands just waiting to be discovered. Such places must be full of unimaginable gold and treasure. And history. Wouldn't it be amazing to make historic adventures? That's what I've always dreamt of. It's all exciting to me. So one day, I happened to come across my relic fragment. I admit that it looks like junk, but take a closer look. Oh, now it's like too small, isn't it? No, you guys can see. Okay, okay. See? That inscription forms a strange pattern, doesn't it? It's true. There, It is a strange inscription. I've never seen a pattern like this. 
There must be some significance to this pattern. The relic fragment must be the key, key to legendary places, to areas where precious treasure lies. At least that's the feeling I get. That's why I want to join an exploration team. This fragment must fit into something somewhere. I want to discover where that is. I want to solve the mystery of my relic fragment. So early I tried joining an exploration team as an apprentice. But I chickened out. Aw, tree tree. What about you, Melissa? What are you going to do now? You lost your memory and somehow transformed into a Pokemon. Do you have anywhere to go? Wait, do you have anywhere... Do you have anywhere to go and stay after- I could not read! I can't fucking read! <laughs> if not, can I ask a big favor? Would you be willing to form an exploration team with me? I'm convinced that I can form an effective exploration team with you, Melissa. So will you, please? What should I do? I'm getting recruited out of the blue? I don't know what an exploration team is. What should I do? Should I join this Pokemon? Yes! Form a team! It's true, I do have nowhere to go. I don't have any clue what I should do next. <sighs> well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to term team up with Tree Tree for now. Maybe I'll eventually discover who or what I am by hanging out with this Pokemon. Okay, that's settled. Yes? Really? You'll form an exploration team with me? Yes, thank you! We're going to be great combination. Let's make this work. First, we should get to Wigglytuff's place and sign up as apprentices. That's where we need to train and become a first-rate exploration team. I'm sure the training will be very tough. But let's give it our best. Yeah! By the way, you get to name your exploration team, and I have a name that I always give my exploration teams. So, yeah. I'll explain it when we get there. And so, Train Tree and Melissa formed an exploration team. And this turned out to be their very first step into many fantastic realms of adventure that awaited their arrival. Yay! <gasps> Yay! Opening credits! I'm so excited! But I'm so happy to be playing this because I'm actually making a D&D campaign, but I'm making, like, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon tabletop. Um, so it's very exciting. Would you like to save? Yes, please save. Always save. Save every chance you get in this game, honestly. Oh my gosh. Okay. Saving your adventure, please don't turn off the power. I don't have a game card. Okay. <laughs> chapter two. The new guild recruits. Gosh, we're flying through chapters faster than Dong Naropa, that's for sure. This is Wigglytuff's guild. To form an exploration team, you need to register your team here. Then you have to train until you become a first-rate exploration team. Yikes. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> Isn't there something just a little odd about this place? No? I've got Melissa with me this time. I have to be brave. Go, Tree Tree, you got this. Pokemon detected. Pokemon detected. Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Trico's. The footprint is Trico's. What? No, no, I have to be strong. You may enter. Someone's with you. So get that stranger to stand up there. Okay. Do we move? Do we move now? It probably meant you, Melissa. So to stand up here. There's a gate covering that hole. Uh, it's made so no one can fall through. Still, it's really strange. Looks like it will tickle my feet or something. That's weird. Why is that your first thought? Hey, you, stranger. Can I get on the grate? Okay. Pokemon detected. Pokemon detected. Whose footprint? Whose footprint? Footprint is... What's the matter? Sentry. Sentry. What's wrong? Sentry Diglett. Well, um... Er... What's the matter? Um, the footprint is maybe Chimchars? Maybe Chimchars. What? Maybe. But, but it's not a footprint that you normally see around here. Uh, that's pretty crummy. Checking the footprints of visiting Pokemon. That's your job, isn't it, Diglett? Yes, well, but I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know. That's, <laughs> that's true. That's a true statement. What? Are they arguing? Sorry to make you wait. Well, it's true that you don't see any Chimchar in these parts, but you don't seem to be bad. Okay, good enough. Enter! Ooh, we going in! Yikes! I'm so nervous, so jittery! But I'm glad we're finally allowed in! My heart's pounding, though. Okay, let's go in. Hell yeah! 
There's a hatch that leads underground here. Down we go, I guess. <laughs> you will love and hate this music as much as I do. Wow. Also, I need to like... There we go. <laughs> so this is Wigglytuff Skilled. So many Pokemon, I wonder if they're all on exploration teams. Excuse me. Channel! <laughs> It was you two that came in. That just came in, right? Th yes, I clicked so many times there. I don't know why I didn't go through. I yes! I'm Chatter. I'm the Pokemon. I'm the Pokemon in the know around these parts. I'm Guildmaster Billy Tuff's right hand Pokemon. Now, shoo, leave the premises. We have no time for salespeople or silly surveys. Off you go, if you please. No, no, that's not why we're here. We want to form an exploration team. That's why we came. We want to be trained as an exploration team. What? An exploration team? It's rare to see a kid like this want to be an apprentice at the guild. Especially given how hard our training is. Surely that steady stream of Pokemon that run away from our rigorous training proves how true that is. Excuse me? Is the exploration team training that severe? What? Well, no, 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 no. This is not true in the slightest. Our training program for exploration teams is as easy as it can be. Well, well, well. I wish you had told me up front that you weren't to be an exploration team. <laughs> His attitude suddenly changed, didn't it? Okay, let's see your teams. Let's get your team signed up right away. Follow me. All right, chat up. Oh, anything wrong? Come on, come over here. Quickly, please. I like the idea of, like, Chata, because Chata has music notes when he talks. It's just always singing. Also, this game's Pokemon goes up to Gen 4. This is the guild's second underground floor. This is mainly where the apprentices work. The team registration is this way. Come along, please. I love the way Chata hops. <laughs> wow, we're two floors under the ground, but you can see outside. Oh, please, hush now. The guild is built into the side of a cliff. Something natural that you would be able to see outside. Oh. Now here we are at the Guildmaster Wigglytuff's chamber. Oh, on no account. I repeat, on no account should you be discourteous to our Guildmaster. Guildmaster, it's Chad Aunt. I'm coming in. Go on in. <laughs> Guildmaster, I present to you two Pokemon who wish to join our guild as apprentices. Guildmaster? Um, Guildmaster... Wigglytuff! I'm Wigglytuff, I'm the guild's guildmaster! You want to form an exploration team? Then let's go for it! First, we must register your exploration team's name! So, tell me your team's name! Uh, our team's name? We didn't think of that! So, what do you think would be a good name for us, Melissa? Not the Pokey Pals! So, the name I always use is... Where is it? So, I always do Team Go-Getters because... There was, there was a special, there's actually a couple anime specials of one-offs of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. And the teams in those are called, at least in the first one, it's called Team Go-Getters. And I just like it. So that's what we're naming. We're Team Go-Getters. Hell yeah. Team Go-Getters! It's just cute, and I like it, and it's nostalgic for me, so that's what it is. Yeah, that's a good name. It suits us. All settled then. I'll register your team as Go-Getters. Registering, registering. All registered. yum -ta! Congratulations! From now on, you're an official exploration team. I present you with this in commemoration. Wigglytuff sat down a Pokemon exploration team kit. A Pokemon Exploration Team Kit? Yep, it's what every Exploration Team needs. Quick, open it! Alright, we're opening. Tree Tree opened the Pokemon Exploration Team Kit. It's a fucking mouthful to say every time. There was an Explorer Badge inside, and a Wonder Map, and a Treasure Bag. Hell yes, the Treasure Bag! I can hold items! I can hold items now! <laughs> That's your Explorer Badge! It's your official team identification! And there's the Wonder Map, which is a wonder of convenience! Finally, there's a treasure bag! A 
Everyone wants to carry items you find in dungeons! Your success as an ex exploration team can lead to bigger and bigger space for your treasure bag! That's a very wonderful bag. Have a peek inside your treasure bag! And we look inside. There's a defense scarf, a sky blue bow. Ooh! Those two items are special. I'm sure they'll help you on your adventures. Thank you. We'll do our best. Yep, but you're only apprenticing right now, so do your best to train. Uh, we will. Let's always do our best, Melissa. Yeah, sounds good, Tree Tree. Sounds good, Tree Tree. Anything for Tree Tree. I would die for Tree Tree. This is your... This is your room. I was like, I already forgot Chadot's voice. I will forget all of their voices. All the time. Great, we got beds! You will live here while you work for us. Things will start getting busy for you tomorrow. So rise early and start living up to our code. That noise scared the shit out of me. Don't stay up late. Get to sleep early tonight. That is all. We don't get a door or anything? Okay. <laughs> they really said, here's your room. Stay there. It's night time. Oh, are you still awake, Melissa? My heart's been racing all day over every little thing, but I'm glad I finally made myself come here. I thought Wigglytuff would be scary, but he seems really friendly. We're going to experience all sorts of things starting tomorrow, but I'm not very scared. In fact, it's the other way around. I'm super excited about the adventures we'll face. I'm feeling a little sleepy. Let's give it our all tomorrow. Okay, Melissa. Good night. Good night, Tree Tree. Um... Now I'm suddenly apprenticing at the guild. I gotta admit, it's pretty exciting to be an exploration team. It's fun to be friends with Tree Tree. But first things first, who am I? <laughs> who am I? That's a good question. <laughs> how did I turn into a Pokemon and how did I end up unconscious at that beach? I'm feeling sleepy too. Well, thinking about it won't help right now. I'd better focus on the guild's work for now. If I do that, well, everything should become clear eventually. I'll surely get to the bottom of this in time in time or something or other <laughs> you know time like the theme the name of the game <laughs> what do i know that you don't i don't know i don't know what i don't know <laughs> oh my gosh okay save completed there we go quick tip you can save a record of your progress by climbing onto your bed from now on so whenever you want to save your progress just climb onto your bed could you imagine if, like, your bed was just, like, an IRL save point like that? That'd be so funny. The next morning. Hey! Hey there! Rise and shine! Uh, my head is pounding. What a ridiculous loud voice. It almost blasted my eardrums. Oh, God! Why are you still asleep? Wake up! Ah, my poor ears. Come on, step out of it! I'm Loudred, and I'm a fellow apprentice! If you're late for our morning briefing, you'll be sorry, so move it. Guildmaster Wigglytuff has got a big temper if you make him lose it. Yowie, that would be one very scary scene. I've got goosebumps just thinking about it, yeesh. So anyway, I'm not about to get in trouble because you rookies got up late. So get in gear. Goddamn. <laughs> oh, my ears are still ringing. What did he say? Something about getting ready? Oh gosh, <laughs> Oh yeah, we signed up as apprentices at Wigglytuff's Guild, that's right. But that means... Ah, we totally overslipped, we've gotta hurry, Melissa. Oh goddamn, don't wanna be late on your first day. You're late, rookies! Hush, your voice is ridiculously loud. Harumph. Okay, I'm not gonna do voices for every single character anymore, it's too much. Everyone seems to be present. Very well, let us conduct our, our morning address. Guildmaster, the guild is in full attendance. Also, there's an eyelash in my eye. My hair is just everywhere. I want to cut my hair so bad. Thank you, Guildmaster. Please address the crew. Zesh and rifle. Guildmaster Wigglytuff never. Wait, yeah. I can't fucking read today! Oh my gosh! Okay. Guildmaster Wigglytuff never ceases to amaze me. Yeah, you got that right. Yep, looks like he's wide awake. Hey, his eyes are wide open, but he's fast asleep. Oh gosh. Thank you, sir. We all value your words of wisdom. Okay, Pokemon, take our Guildmaster words of wisdom to heart. Finally, let's not forget our morning cheers all together now. 
a one, a two, a one, two, three. One, don't shirk work. Two, run away and pay. Three, smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon, get to work. Hooray! Oh my god. <laughs> the second one was really funny to me. Okay. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. What do we do? <laughs> hey, you shouldn't be just wandering around here. You two come here. Okay. Sounds, sounds good. We'll go there. Because I don't know where else we're supposed to go. Hello, chat up. You're just beginners. We'll have you start off with this assignment. This is the job bulletin board. Pokemon from various regions post job requests here. You're aware that bad Pokemon are cropping up in greater numbers, right? Uh, yep, yeah, because the flow of time is getting messed up. It's wreaking havoc, right? You can't just say something as casual as, Oh, uh, yeah, they're going crazy because the flow of time's getting messed up or whatever. Like, that's not a casual conversation topic, Tree Tree. Which is why lots of bad Pokemon are appearing. The flow of time's getting messed up? Time is in hours and minutes? Or do they mean something has gone wrong with time here? And because of that, more and more bad Pokemon are popping up? What's going on here? Precisely. Time getting out, getting out of whack has caused an outbreak of bad Pokemon. Perhaps because of all that, we have no noticed an increase in the number of jobs. In addition, and it's unknown if this is because of the Heim's influence, there's also been a mass outbreak of Mystery Dungeons. Mystery Dungeons? So, Melissa... You know how we got my relic fragment back yesterday? The place where we found it was a mystery dungeon. A mystery dungeon changes each time you go into it. There's a different layout and different items every time you enter. If you faint in a dungeon, you'll lose all your money. You can even lose half your items or more. Finally, you get kicked right out. They're very strange places. But every time you go inside one, there are always new things to discover. They really are fantastic places to go exploring. Well, you're quite informed, aren't you? That makes things much easier for me to explain. Jobs all take place in mystery dungeons. So, let's take a look at that job you should perform. Ah, yes, maybe this will do. Oh, really? Let's read it. Let's, let's read it. Can I read it? Hello, my name is Spoink. An outlaw has run off with my most prized possession, my precious pearl. Uh, Spoink, how are you alive? That's your heart. <laughs> that pearl in is life itself to me that is your life that's your heart uh it can't seem to settle down that pearl isn't in its proper place atop my head but i've heard my pearl has been sighted it's said to be on a rocky bluff but this bluff is reported to be extremely unsafe i could never go somewhere so frightening our friendly re oh friendly readers would you be so as kind to go to the bluff and get my pearl i beg your help exploration team members from spoink wait a second we're only supposed to fetch an item that someone dropped I'd rather do something that's more of an adventure. I'd rather look for treasure or explore unknown places. Things like that. Hush! Yikes. It's important that you rookies pay your dues. Now pay attention. I'll repeat the warnings again to make sure they stick. You'll be forced out of a dungeon and sent back here if either of you faints. You'll lose all your money and you can lose half your items or more. You'd best be careful. If you've understood all that, I suggest you get on with the job. Hmm. <laughs> I like doing chat on voice. Hell yeah, I love the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon music. It pops off. This must be that bluff's entrance. Spunk's missing description said the pearl is deep down on the B7 level. Sounds like a serious dangerous place. Let's be careful. Let's do our best. All right, now we're playing Pokemon. Drenched bluff. You and your partner Pokemon can now hold one item each. Now that you have the treasure bag, you can also keep up to 16 items in your inventory. Some items like bows work only if held by a Pokemon. So use the give option found under the item section of the menu to hand it over. Um, okay, so let's see. Because we have give to me. Sure. And then items, defense scarf. Let's give to tree tree. Oh, and we're gonna, we don't need to worry about recruiting just yet. So we can just skip past all these. We can just skip past them. Eat an apple or a gummy. Oh, that's the thing that always sucks about these games is I always get like hungry in them like my character does. And I just am not good at balancing them. Max elixirs, okay. I'm gonna skip over all the item descriptions because I don't, I know what they do, but it's, it's fine. You don't need to know. There's a lot of items. There's a lot. There's a lot of items. <laughs> yes, I understand how to earn experience points. Okay. 
Thank you, game. I will grab the Peacha Berry. The good thing is after you get to an item, um, you only ever get that description one time. So all of these ones that we're grabbing, we won't get descriptions for again. Yep, Geo Pebbles. So this is like items that you can throw as weapons, which is kind of nice because you do you can fight with regular Pokemon moves. It's just that you do have um, your like power points. So if you do like not have those anymore, you know, like you can really only struggle or just do the basic attack. But if you have items, then you have another way to attack. So weapons are wonderful. Oh, I probably should have gone back for that Ching. I can't do anything. Whoops. <laughs> I was like, I can't do anything about that. Um, okay, I guess we're just walking. There we go. Oh, nope. Okay, come on, Shellos. Let me get by. I gotta get to the seventh floor. Seventh floor, please. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Shellos. Shellos! Okay. I keep expecting them to join my team, but I'm like, no, wrong, wrong, wrong file. <laughs> Anorinth? Come on. Yay, who leveled up? Hell yeah. The music is so good, though. I love it. Tree Tree leveled up, too. Nice. So our health bar will get bigger and a whole bunch of other stuff, so it'll be good. It'll be a good time. Oop! Lilip is, uh, Angie. Lilip being heckin' Angie. Thanks, Tree Tree! Tree Tree took care of that super fast! Okay. Let's see... Okay. Let's go this way. And... Ooh, I want money! I want muns! Give me that muns! I want muns! Oh! <gasps> Ooh, the Anorinth. Okay, and also you can grab as much money as you want. So, like, there's no cap um, on your storage for money. Just items. Which is very nice. Okay. It's always good to have a full bag as well. Like, come in empty, leave full, you know? It's great. But, yeah, so I'm working on making a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon D&D &D campaign, and I'm... Very excited for it because most of the story is actually going to be based off of this game. So this gives me a chance to do my research, <laughs> um, but also just have fun because I love Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. These are like one of my like not so guilty pleasure of games. Behave chat. I got to go have a good stream. Thank you, D-Dog. You have a good time as well. Appreciate you coming by. This is what our new long-term series is gonna be. So it's a lot of just going through the dungeons, which is totally fine. But I love the story in this game. It's such a good story. The first Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, so if you guys haven't played them, mild spoilers. Um, but they're very simple. The whole premise, of course, is you are a human and you get transported to this world and you gotta figure out why you're a Pokemon or whatever. And the reasoning is different in every game. And then you have to decide whether you want to leave or come back. That's kind of how the first games go. Um, but this game, it makes it a lot more serious. <laughs> a lot, a lot more serious. So I'm very excited. So that's also one of the reasons why I really wanted to have that opening cutscene play. Now, the opening cutscene is slightly different every time. The two Pokemon that come in to explore are different every time which is really cool and fun. I really like that they did that. We learned Ember, hell yeah. Hell yeah. And Tree Tree leveled up, hell yeah. Okay, let's do this. Come on, come on, there we go. Also, these games are the reason why, um, these games are the reason why Trico is uh, one of my favorite starters. So um, that's why I have to have Trico as my party, like my partner for this game, because this is the game that made me love Trico. We love some nostalgia. <laughs> All right, so we just have to go to the seventh floor, right? 
That's as far as we have to go. Okay. Let's do it then. Let's do it. Oops. There we go. Wait, why did I go this way? I just needed to go to the seventh floor and it was right there. Why did I do this? What am I doing? I'm out here like item grinding already. I don't need to item grind yet. I don't need to. <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on. There we go. If I died to that, I was going to be so upset. Don't astonish me. Don't astonish me. No, thank you. No, thank you. Oh my gosh. But while we're while we're doing some like level grinding and stuff, I don't want to like talk too much about this game because then I'm going to like start spoiling stuff. But um, I'll just talk about again all the stuff that we've got coming up. So this week on Friday, we have our watch party starting for Yuri on Ice. So if you've never seen Yuri on Ice or it's been a long time since you've watched it because it's been 10 years now, almost. <laughs> or it's been like eight, I think. <laughs> um, it's been like eight years since it, <laughs> it originally came out and um, we are still no closer to getting that movie anytime soon or that season two. They're not making a season two until they make the movie. That's why we're like, they need to make this movie. Tell Mappa to stop taking on new projects and just make the movie because I'm tired. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, we're gonna watch that starting on Friday. So first six episodes this Friday, next last six episodes next Friday. And yeah, also for those of you wondering, no, there's no manga for your own eyes. That's why like we literally are just relying on Mappa at this point. Oh, look at that. This must be Spoink's Pearl. Let's hurry back with it. Hell yeah. I like this music though. It's like victory music is so good. Oh, whoops, ah, clicked off. Thank you, that pearl must be propped on my head. You see, I missed it so much. I just couldn't settle down without it up there. So it's just boinging and springing everywhere. That's why I'm covered in dings and bumps. But thanks to you, that long nightmare is over. Yeah, my sincere thanks. Oh, we received a protein. We also got a calcium. We also received an iron. Ooh, you're also given 2,000. Nice. Oh, wow, 2,000. All this money is for us? Of course, of course, it's nothing compared to my pearl's value. Farewell. This is the most, I remember this scene being like the most real scene ever. And I was like, I hate this. We're rich, Melissa. We got rich just like that. Well done, team. Now hand that money over if you please. Huh? Most of the money from jobs goes to the guild master, you see? And your team's share of the money comes out to this much. Huh? We keep only 200? That's awful. Well, that's the guild's rule. You simply have to accept it. Mm. Darn, <laughs> that's rough. Everyone, thanks for waiting. Oh yeah, <laughs> Chimeko's like the chef. I remember this net. look at them. I love the way everybody munches, just like little corfish is doing like little little sprinkler moment, you know? <laughs> I'm stuffed, now I'm getting sleepy. Yep, I'm off to bed. Good night, gang. Good night. There's the moon. Listen, Melissa. Wasn't today hectic? So much happened, but I'm relieved that our first job was a was a success. It was really upsetting how Wigglytuff's guild took most of the money. That's just the cost of training, I guess. We can't do anything about it. But what made me really happy, though, today was getting thanked by Spoink. Ugh, I'm getting sleepy. I'm going to sleep. Let's try our best tomorrow, okay? Good night, Melissa. Oh, Tree Tree. I love Tree Tree. I love Trico. Chapter 3, The Scream. The next morning. Up and at him. It's morning. Ah, uh, good morning, Melissa. <laughs> Poor Tree Tree. He, <laughs> Tree Tree's closer, so they really get the brunt of it. All right, we're saving, we're saving. Okay, and then we're gonna take a little, little, little break here so that I can go use the restroom and stuff because I gotta go pee and get more water. I think we're gonna end up 
up doing a slightly shorter stream though, just because my back's kind of hurting. So I think I might go for just for like an another hour or so. Um, Cause I wanna get to some good story bits. But we're gonna go ahead and take a quick intermission and then we will be right back. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back shortly. Oh my gosh, you guys, three minutes goes by so fast. Three minutes goes by so, so fast. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, me oh my. Okay, I'm gonna do this, and this, and this. And, oops, I was on the screen that I needed to be on. There we go. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. Here we go, oh. Oh, I forgot! I could use this! Oh. I'm not gonna do that. I could use my mouse, basically. And three! Smiles go for my- We have to do that every morning. Tell me you're a cult without telling me you're a cult. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, Pokemon, time to get to work. Hooray! Alright, what do we do? What do we gotta do, chat -a? Oh, you two still wandering around lost, it seems. Well, come with me. Okay, sounds good, chat -a. I mean, we haven't really been trained, you know. <laughs> we can't do a job right if we're not being trained, right? 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 My thoughts. Last time we did a job, it was from the board on the other side. Correct. Today, we'll have you do a job list on this side. How is this different from the board on the other side? Take a closer look. Oh, look, Melissa. There are posters up here that show a variety of Pokemon. Wow, they all look pretty cool. Are they famous explorers? Who are these Pokemon chat on? The Pokemon posted here are outlaws. They're all shady characters and they're wanted for committing crimes. 
<laughs> be gay, do crime, friends. <laughs> oh no, they're outlaws. Correct. Now there are bounties on their heads. In other words, this is a cash reward if you capture one. There's so many aggressive Pokemon around these days that everyone's finding it hard to keep up with the problem. Wait, you're telling us to go catch these outlaws? You can't be serious. That's not possible. <laughs> Just joking. The bad Pokemon out there come in all shades of badness. Some of these Pokemon are completely wicked through and through, but there are also some bad Pokemon that are merely petty thieves, so you've got evil to naughty and everything in between. So I'm sure we can avoid giving you a job catching a super bad Pokemon. <laughs> so look over at these posters and pick a Pokemon that looks weak enough for you to bring to justice. Um, you say some are weak, but they're still bad Pokemon, aren't they? I'm scared of dangerous Pokemon. It's all part of your training. You'll work through it, I'm sure. But I suppose you need to, you do need to be prepared to confront a tough opponent. So I'll have someone give you a tour of the facilities. Hey, Bidoof. Bidoof. Yup, yup. I love Bidoof. Huff, puff, huff. You called? Ah, Bidoof. These are the new recruits that just joined us. Take them and show them around the town. Yes, sir, we by golly, I'll do just that. Yup, yup. This is Bidoof. He's one of your fellow apprentices. I want you to pay attention to what Bidoof has to say and follow his orders. Off you go. Oh shucks, I'm overjoyed. Why is that? I'm glad that member's junior to me. I'm almost overcome right now. I just might blubber with happiness. Before you all signed on, I was the most recent rookie. Sniffle. Well, I best show you around. Come with me, please. Oh, Bidoof's adorable. Well, first things first. Krogunk. Here we have Krogunk. Until the truth, I don't have any idea what that Pokemon's up to. He always seems to be fiddling around with that big cauldron back there. It's a mystery to me. Yup, yup. Yup, yup. Over this way is the mess hall. And if you look all that way, you'll find the crew rooms. And this here leads to the Guildmaster's chamber. Next, I'll guide you both around out places outside the guild. We get to go outside the guild! I forget what the town looks like, so I'm actually excited to see the town. <gasps> Duskull! I forgot! Duskull is the bank this time instead of Persian, and I love it. This is the main part of- eh, This is the main part of town for the local Pokemon. It's called Treasure Town. Oh, I can tell you about Treasure Town, too. That over there is Duskull Bank. We can save our money there. Oh gosh, my- I is itchy. And oh, that over there is the Electivire Link Shop. That's where you can do things like link moves together, but it looks as if the Electivire isn't here today. What else we got? <gasps> the Kecleon Shop's back! And Kangaskhan Storage, of course. Absolutely, yes. I'm so excited. And that should do it. We sure know a lot, yes siree, and that's good to know, yup yup. Alright then, come find me when you're all ready to go. I'll give you a helping hand with selecting the right outlaw for you. Thank you, Bidoof, you've been really nice. Golly, you're embarrassing me, Oh shucks. I'll be waiting for at the guild's upper underground floor for you. Upper underground floor, what a sentence is that? Also, I like the idea of Bidoof having like a Goofy-esque voice like- <laughs> Oh shucks. <laughs> I can't do a good goofy voice, though. Now let's see what kind of items are available. Let's go to the Kecleon Market. Before we head back, a visit to Kecleon Market is a must. Okay, we'll definitely head there, then. We'll definitely head there. <gasps> yes, and I can speed up outside of there. Hell yeah. Okay. Bum, bum. <gasps> Bye! Okay, what do they got? Got grass gummy. Got some apples, some graveler rocks. Oh, I'm just looking. Um, cancel. Thank you again. Oh god, my eye is blurry. Oh, whoa, what's happening? Ah, uh, little Marill and Azumarill. Welcome, my young friends. Hello, may I buy an apple? Oh, most certainly. Marill and Azumarill bought an apple at Kecleon Market. Thank you, Mistress Kecleon. No, thank you, my young friends. You are to be admired. Oh, they're adorable. <laughs> I see those delightful children are brothers. Lately, their poor mother has fallen sick, so those youngsters come and do the shopping for her. It's quite remarkable. Though very young, they've stepped up and taken charge. Mistress Cacleon! Oh, what's the hurry? What makes you return in such a rush? There was an extra apple! We didn't pay for this many! 
Oh yes, that, my young friends, is a gift from me and my brother. Please share it among yourselves and do enjoy. Really? Yay, thank you, Mr. Cacleon and Mr. Cacleon. Oh, not to worry, my friends. Do take care on your way home. Aww. Youch! Oh no! We're sorry to bother you. Thank you so much. Aww. Wait, what? Oh, what was that? D dizzy or am I? The fuck? What happened? Help! Who called for help? What's happening? What was that? I'm sure I heard a shout for help just now. Did that shout come from you? Is something the matter? Hey, Azuril. What's going on? Hurry home. Yep, I'm coming. Wait up. Are you all right? Yep. We're done with our shopping. Now we gotta look for an item we've lost. Let's get going. Yep, I'm coming. Aww. They're cute. <laughs> Those little guys are cute. <laughs> That's my thought. Oh, what's the matter, Melissa? I heard a shout. Huh? Did I hear a shout for help just then? Um, no, I didn't hear anything like that. Hey, Kecleon brothers, did you hear anything strange just a moment ago? No, nothing out of the ordinary. I didn't hear anything odd either. Sounds like the Kecleon brothers didn't hear anything odd either. You must have imagined it, Melissa. No, I'm positive that I didn't imagine it. I definitely heard it. That shout I heard. Help! There's no mistaking it. That was a zero scream. <laughs> Are you daydreaming? Let's move it, Melissa. I don't trust that. Um, but we're gonna store some items. We're gonna store a bunch of items. Okay, so we're gonna do this luckily because I don't know what my button binds are right now. I can just click on everything, which is very nice. Oops, and that, and perfect. Yes, put all those away. And we're good. Perfect, so now we got items in our storage. Let's go put some money in our bank. Yes, yes, money in the bank. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't even mean to read the line. I was just like, oh, what's going on there? Yay, thank you. Please, it's nothing. What's happening? What's happening? What's going on? Oh, hi. Some time ago, we lost an item that's pretty important to us. We've been looking all over, but we haven't found it yet. Then Mr. Drowsy came along and says he may have seen our lost item somewhere. He even offered to help us look for it. We're so happy about this. Yeah, that's great for you. Thank you, Mr. Drowsy. Oh, please. I'd, I'd have to have a cold heart to ignore kids in need. I can't turn a blind eye. Let us be on our way to begin our search. Yep. Yep. Whoops. Excuse me. What, what is this? That Drowsy sure is a nice Pokemon, isn't he? I'm impressed. With more and more bad Pokemon around, it's hard to find do good deeds. It's happening again. Another dizzy spell. Why is this happening? If you keep being difficult, it will mean big trouble. Of course Drowsy's evil! Help! Oh no. What was that? It would be nice if those little guys found their items soon. What's the matter, Melissa? You're looking awfully grim. Hmm? You want me to- you want to tell me something? What? You had a- <laughs> Tree Tree's like, oh no! You had a dizzy spell? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> then you saw Zuro being threatened by Drowsy, so you want to go rescue Zuro right away? It's an emergency? Well, what you described does sound like an emergency, but- Well, it's not like I don't trust you, but I just can't believe it. After all, Drowsy seemed to be a sincerely nice Pokemon, didn't he? I watched the three of them go off earlier. They looked like they were having a good time, didn't they? You're probably just tired. Maybe that's why you just had that bad daydream. Was that it? Just a bad daydream? Come to think of it, that Drowsy didn't seem like a bad Pokemon. Anyway, we're only apprentices. We can't just go do whatever we want. Sure, it's worrying, but we have to concentrate on our guild work for now. Let's get ourselves ready to explore. Then we should find Bidoof. Bidoof's supposed to be waiting for us on the grounds... On the, on the guild's upper underground floor. It's such a hard sentence. Upper underground floor. Let's go, Melissa. Like, what building 
has an upper underground floor. And we're just going to deposit all of it. And cancel. Perfect. All right, let's go meet up with Bidoof. Bidoof, my boy. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, excuse me. Huh? Are you folks all set and ready for some exploring? I sure am. I sure am. Oh yes, sir. I reckon you all are ready. Let's pick ourselves a lawbreaker for you to find. Well, you got your pick of the sorry bunch of characters. Let's see. Which should we pick? Ahem. As your mentor, how about I do the choosing? Don't choose anyone too scary. <laughs> yes, sirree, I hear you. Let's see. Eeny, meeny. Oh. Stand clear, updating listings. Stand clear, updating listings. What's that? What's happening? Oh, the data's getting updated. It's being updated? Thanks, did you see that? The panel flipped over. What's going on here? The outline notice board and job bulletin board are set up on a revolving panel. When the panel is flipped over, a Pokemon named Doug Trio swaps out the old jobs with new ones. Doug Trio? Oh, what's happening? Updating data is Doug Trio's duty. He tunnels his way on to our guild. Oh, so this is like the side view so that you can see like what's on both sides, basically. Then he flips the panel and updates the data. I love Doug Trio. Doug Trio's just like, I am here in my tunnels vibing. The duty doesn't get noticed much, but it's very important. Yup, yup. That's why Doug Trio takes such great pride in the duty he does. Oh, is that so? Update completed. Stand clear. Update completed. Stand clear. Oh, looks like he's done. All right, let's see. Yes, sir. The data is updated. The list of outlaws has been refreshed, so let's pick one. Huh? What's ailing you? Why are you shivering all of a sudden? Why? It's not cold here after all. What is happening? Look at this, Melissa. It's drowsy on there. At the top on the left. <gasps> drowsy, no! It's drowsy. He's a wanted criminal. Oh no! We have to get moving. Azurel will be in danger. Now what's going on? Why are you off to all of a sudden? Look, there's Marill. Marill, what's the matter? Where are Zuril and Drowsy? Yes, about them. After we all left, we went looking for our lost item together, but I wound up all alone when Mr. Drowsy went somewhere with Azuril. I called and called, but they didn't come back. I got scared. So which way did they go? That that way. All right, off we go. New dungeon. Let's go save Azuril. You think Drowsy and Azuril went in this direction? I yes. Oh, Melissa, the Drowsy and Azuril you saw in your dream. You were saying you saw them in the mountainous place, right? Yep, sure did. I get the feeling that they're up ahead there. Let's get going. Let's do it! Let's do it! Let's go save little Azuril. This is like one of the saddest missions, too. Alright, so we got Starly... Yeah, we got Starly, we got a Machop, and a Spinarak. Can I- can I attack? At all? Oh gosh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh gosh. Can we just run away? Is that an item? Can we just- Oh no, you're slowed. Oh no. Oh no. So you do regain health as you walk. But, um... Oh, this might not be good. Um... <laughs> this might not be good at all. Okay, I think it's just the... <laughs> Let's try that again! Let's try that again! Let's try that again! Oh gosh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. That didn't go well. Alright. Um, whoopsies. Whoopsies! Okay, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Uh... Uh, yeah, I guess I'll save. I may as well. We're already here. <laughs> we're, al we're already there, right? We're already halfway there. Might as well. Might as well. 
Okay. Save complete. It takes so long to save for some reason. I don't know. I feel like it took that long in like the physical copy, but like, I don't know. Maybe like not quite as long. Okay. We'll get past all this dialogue. All right. I love how we still have to do all of that when we're like, there's literally someone in trouble for us to go help. <laughs> like, the fuck? Okay, let's let's go save Azuril. Maybe we should... Mm, you know, maybe we'll just get luckier this time. Um, so we need to go to Mount Bristle. Yes. Okay. Going to Mount Bristle. We're gonna save an Azuril. Gonna go save an Azuril. Okay. Okay, I think that's both of us on a spinner rack. We should be okay. Come on, Tree Tree, help me. Tree Tree, help. Tree Tree, why are you not helping? <laughs> why is Tree Tree just watching me take this? Tree Tree! Tree Tree, my guy, help me! Holy shit! Tree Tree was just gonna watch me die. The fuck? Okay. Um, we're just gonna go up. Okay. You know, I do have other moves I can use. I do need to remember that as well. Because some of these moves are super effective. Oh shit, I don't have a peach berry. Oh, do you not regain health while walking when you're poisoned? That's stupid. I'm gonna die. If I don't find stairs, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Here, can I do... You have no items. Great. No, 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 no. Ah, shit! I'm not trying to do that! Fuck. I know, I know I have no items. Okay, Tree Tree. I'm kind of... I'm kind of just using Tree Tree as, like, a Pokemon shield for myself right now. Oh, shit. Fuck. Fuck. Um, ah, oh shit, shit, shit. Hold on, hold on. Um, ah! Okay, now we can do this. Moves. Ember, please. It missed! No, 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 no! Why can I not get past this first one? It's because I ran away in all the other dungeons, isn't it? It's because I ran away. It's my, it's my payback, isn't it? Isn't it? Love that. <laughs> that didn't go well. Yeah, that did not go well. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. The next morning. Up and at him, it's morning. All right, maybe we should dungeon crawl. Maybe I should bring items. Maybe that's what I should actually do, is just bring items with us. Also, how is Azuril still alive right now? Azuril would be dead, right? Can we just agree that Azuril should be dead if Azuril is not dead? Can we just agree on that? Okay. Hooray! Okay. All right, we have to rescue Azuril. Hurry off to Mount Bristle. Alrighty, let's get on up there. <gasps> Jordan, thank you so much for grabbing your daily token. Hope you're doing well and so well as always. Hello. And what'd you get today? You got a familiar token. You, you do get the feeling. You've seen that token somewhere. Oh my gosh. Welcome on in. I'm doing okay. How are you, friend? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We're our Azuro that we're trying to rescue could possibly be dead. Not really, but you know, it, logically, it's been two days. Uh, we've passed out and uh, have lost multiple times, but that's okay. <laughs> I know those are the new bits badges. They're so cute. I love them so much. I'm like, oh yeah, I, it's like a little reminder of like, yeah, I am a Pokemon variety streamer. <laughs> kind of forget that. No, you're fine. I know, I think they're so cute. They're like, if you look at them close up, like they kind of have like a little sparkle texture in them, but they're all, 
I have them all to match like the generic um, like Twitch bits badges that Twitch already has. They all match, but they're Pokeballs and I love it. I love it so, so much. Okay, we're gonna bring an Orenberry and a Peachy Berry with us. Because I keep dying from poison and I'm dying from not having health. <laughs> Okay, I think we should be good with those. I think we should be good with those. Okay. We're good. We're good. <laughs> yeah, I love them so much. I, that's what I impulse bought the other day when you were streaming and I was like, just impulse bought bits badges. Those are the ones, those are the ones. <laughs> but they look so good. I love them. D-Dog was here earlier and D-Dog has the little green one right now. And it looks so pretty. I love them. I love them so, so much. Okay, let's head down this way. Okay, finally, I get a staircase, staircase? Staircase close to me. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't wanna fight the mod shop. I'm just gonna run away from my problems. Running away from my problems, even though I'm causing my own problems. Staircase? Yeah, basically, <laughs> basically. <laughs> I am like over here mispronouncing the simple words. <laughs> a queer staircase, honestly, a vibe. Okay, we got a Starly coming at us. Let me do a little, mm, no. I wanna do a little Ember. That's what I want. It's weird being able to use my mouse to play this game in some areas. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? I died from a tackle? Leveled? I don't think I've only done three levels. How am I this under leveled and dying this badly? I brought items. Did I lose the items I just brought? <laughs> okay, I think I need to go to a previous dungeon and grind. Oh my God. Why do I have to grind this early on? I know it would help if I just actually fought the Pokemon, but <laughs> yeah, I think I have to go to the previous dungeon and um, uh, I'm not gonna save right now. Oh my goodness. All right, smiles go for miles. Yep, yep, okay. Let's uh, let's head on out to another, another area. Okay. But this is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time. This is my favorite and arguably the best uh, Pokemon spinoff game. Um, so it's still like an official Pokemon game and stuff. But um, you, the story basically is, um, yeah, no, it kind of does in some ways because it's very like you pick your team members. Once you get more team members, um, you become a Pokemon and you have to figure out why you became a Pokemon, how you became a Pokemon, where are you, where's the world you knew and things like that, as well as like what's going on in this world. We were told very casually, to be frank, that there's something going on with the flow of time. Um, being all wibbly wobbly timey wimey basically so yeah that's basically the story right now um, of what where we're at um, so we are this little chimchar and then we have our little partner pokemon trico who i have named tree tree trico is one of my favorite starter pokemon because of this game by the way when I first played this, the story is so good and I had a Trico as my partner in the game when I first played, so, you know, I'm like running away and I'm like, my whole point of coming to this dungeon <laughs> was to fight more Pokemon. I should not be running away from them right now. There we go. Let's, uh, let's go find some more. There we go, a little Shellos there. But no, it's such a cute game, but this is on, they have the, this is the sequel game. So there is a first game, but there is not like, the story doesn't carry over anything because it's new every time. It's always a person being turned into a Pokemon though. Like that's the one consistent thing between these games. I don't know why that's what they decided, but you know, I'm not mad at it. Kabuto, Tree Tree, get the Kabuto. Tree Tree just annihilated that Kabuto. <laughs> That Kabuto was sleeping, we walked by, it did a little taco, and Trico was like, not today. Not today. <laughs> okay. Okay, Tree Tree, I see you. I see you, Tree Tree. Oh my gosh. But yeah, no, this game is super nostalgic for me, and it's just nice to play another Pokemon game. It's been a while since we've played, like, a Pokemon game. 
Uh, Cause the last thing that we did was our Pokemon White Nuzlocke. And I do plan to do a Pokemon White 2 Nuzlocke, but I need a break <laughs> from Nuzlocke's. They're very draining. <laughs> they take a lot of time and I still need to finish Pokemon Uranium. Pokemon game I haven't finished yet. That's a fan game though. Um, but there's other fan games that I want to play. So it's like, I need to get through things so I can play other things. Ah, uh, the dilemma of being a gamer with too many games. Ow, why am I getting hit with mud? That's no fun, Shellos. Shellos, that's no fun. Why are we all missing? Why are we all missing? Are we all missing? Why are we all? Okay, if I'm not hitting you, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I mean, there's no point, right? A tree tree got it there. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was like, we're all just missing. I have so many games I want to play right now that I don't have time. Right? It's one of the reasons why I'm happy I'm back to making YouTube videos because I feel like games that I don't have time to like stream, I can just play on the YouTube channel. And it's great. Like in, at the end of this month, um, all of the stray playthroughs are going to start coming out. And I'm very excited for those because I'm having a lot of fun with it, but it's also a very scary game at times. And I'm like, I just want to be a cute cat, but <laughs> I'm very excited for those because a stray I wanted to play on stream when it came out, but then I was in the middle of some other stuff. I had to take a break. Um, so it's just nice to be able to use YouTube to kind of fill that void, um, <laughs> and be like, I still want to make content. I'm gonna use it for YouTube. And then of course I still am trying to edit down some of my streams. Um, some of the ones that I want as series is on like streamed and on YouTube. So like Dongnaropa one and two are gonna be edited down. I would like to edit down at least one Nuzlocke. I don't know if I'm gonna do the Pokemon White Nuzlocke yet. Um, I wanted to do the Pokemon your I'm so gassy. I wanted to do the Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke, but a lot of those old VODs, because we've been playing it for like two years, uh, <laughs> are gone. Like they cannot be found. They are lost to the ether. Um, Cause they were before I made my YouTube channel for that. So a lot of them are just kind of like locked away. But I highly recommend, by the way, anybody who's watching, if you happen to stream, um, I highly recommend making a dedicated VOD YouTube channel. That way you don't lose your VODs once they're off of Twitch because your VODs do not last forever on Twitch. And also people don't tend to watch them on Twitch. They tend to like go to a part that maybe they missed or like if they left stream at a certain point, they like use it to catch up from what they missed. Um, so I would highly recommend uploading to YouTube because people can also find you that way because YouTube is a little bit better discoverability than Twitch is. Twitch is very much like, maybe we'll push you out. Maybe we won't. They don't push you out. They don't promote you. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see what we got. We got a little shallows again. My nose is so itchy, by the way. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I'd like to at least... I think I'm going to do a shorter stream today um, just because my back's kind of hurting. But like, I want to save this Azuril. I want to save Azuril first. Like, I haven't even been live that long. I'm like, let me save this Azuril. I'm like, the worst part is I'm not even dying to like, I'm not even dying to like the boss Pokemon. I'm dying to the first floor random enemies that I'm running into. Like, it's so bad. It's so bad. Also, why does my head look weird now when I take my head? Like, this looks normal, but as soon as I take these off, it feels like I'm naked. It's weird. It feels weird, right? Does anybody else get that? It feels weird. I feel like my headphones are like part of my streamer identity now. <laughs> it's weird. What a concept. Cool, we got lots of experience. Levels raised. Okay. Maybe we'll try one more time. One or two more times at this uh this dungeon with Drowsy and Azuril. I would like to get some progress made. Okay, let's save this time. Just in case. Let's save now. 
Okay, save and save and save and it takes. Oh God, what just? Did my chair just break? That was scary. There was like a pop for my chair. Oh gosh. I know I need a new chair, but chill. <laughs> Don't go breaking on me. I can't afford the chair I want yet. I want one of those like really expensive, like comfort chairs because my gaming chair sags like this. So like, if this is like the back, it goes like this, the actual seat, like it dips forward and it's not always comfortable to sit in for long periods of time. I actually have a footrest that I keep my feet on so that like I don't fall forward or slide off. <laughs> I would love to get like a standing desk, but my wires, my wire situation is not supportive of a standing desk. I also really want an under the dust treadmill. That'd be so nice. That'd be so nice. Could you guys imagine me making that a redeem where it's like, run on the treadmill for a minute. <laughs> I'd get so fit. I would get so, I should actually do that when I get that. Holy shit, wait, I should do that. It's gonna be a manual treadmill that I, manual walking pad treadmill type thing that I get. So when I get it, um, so maybe that's an option. Mayhaps. All right, Mount Bristle. Okay, let's try to take this smart. Okay, let's grab the apple, right? That's such a good idea. I should do that. I'm gonna genuinely do that. Okay, let's I was like, I'm gonna fight them. Now I'm like, there's stairs. I had, I had for the stairs. We go to the stairs. Oh, but there's a item. Ornberry. Okay, we can at least use that. We can at least use that. Um, Ornberry eat tree tree. Yay, okay. Oh, and he's absorb. Well, shit. Okay, we can attack, we can attack. Oh, it wants to run away. Perfect. It's one of those Pokemon. So there's Pokemon where if you get their health too low, they'll just flee. They don't want to fight you anymore because you're stronger than them. So that happened with Doduo just now. Fuck yeah. Doduo, not today. Oh, there's so many items here. Get that Orenberry. Get all the Orenberries. Oh, there's an enemy. And we got some Geo Pebbles. Okay. I'm gonna just do a little fight and then we're gonna do an ember. This should be, oh, that's so much stronger than it used to be, okay. Um, let's do, let's do the same thing. We'll do moves, do an ember on Geodude. Okay, now I can focus on the Machop, I think. Hey, don't hit my partner. Don't hit my partner, Pokemon, that's rude. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that, Machop. Oop. Pop off, Tree Tree. Tree Tree just annihilated them. Okay. Am I doing so much better now? I got one level and now it's like easy mode. I'm gonna jinx it and I'm gonna lose. I don't wanna, I don't want that to happen. I don't wanna lose. I wanna save this Azuril. I really do. Come on, Spinarak. Okay, if I didn't kill it there, I was gonna use Ember. But let's grab an Orenberry. And again, you do regain health as you're walking. So it's not a huge deal, but it sucks when you're in a battle and like you're losing health fast. Now I'm getting all the Orenberries. I feel mocked. I feel like the game is making fun of me right now. <laughs> Where it's like, hey, remember when you couldn't heal? Well, here's all of the healing items now. Okay, let's do this. Let's, uh,. I'm just gonna use an ember on this because I don't want to deal with it. There we go. Um, let's use, oh no, no, no. Um, I want to eat an Orenberry. Yes, okay. I need a heal. Okay, and then Geodude's gonna come in here and I'm gonna swap with Tree Tree. Um, let's do this. It's gonna do that as the Tree Tree attacks. Let's see. I realize this game looks really crazy if you don't really know what you're supposed to look at, but I'm so used to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games where I'm like, this is just normal. This is just normal for me. Okay. And now Tree Tree, you're gonna go for the Geodude. Come on, come on. There we go, good job Tree Tree. 
why Tree Tree wasn't using Absorb before. Did Tree Tree not have Absorb yet? That would make sense. Come on. Come on, Machop. Oh, hold on. That's what I wanted to do. Moves. Ember, use. Ember's my strongest move. I gotta use it. Okay. And we got some stairs. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, Doduo. Hello. Okay. I just want it to run away. I want it to get so low health that it runs away. There we go. And now we can chase it because it will actually block any hostiles. There we go. Perfect. I guess I can kill you. I'll take the experience. Oops. Was I using Dodua as like a Pokemon shield? Yes, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, let's do this. Doduo. Doduo, stop. Bad Doduo. Bad Doduo. Oh, you put yourself in a corner, bud. Poor Doduo. <laughs> I actually feel bad. Imagine like trying to escape and it's a dead end just like that. And you're like, well, there's no way out of this. <laughs> kind of feel guilty about that, but not really. Okay, I shouldn't be playing around with the Starly because the Starly killed us last time. Ember. There we go. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna go through this top one first. I have a good feeling about the top one. Let's go down. Okay, they're gonna follow us until they're not gonna follow us. Ooh, there's the stairs. Okay, I should have gone down. I should have gone down, but it's okay. We're right there. I don't know how many floors are in this one. I think maybe 10. Ooh. I hope there's no monster houses. So there's something called a monster house in dungeons. And um, basically it's a floor overrun with enemies. Like literally you cannot take a step without getting like hit by them. It sucks. So I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping we don't run into any of those because those are my worst nightmare. And I don't have any moves to deal with that yet. But they're very random. They're kind of rare, but they're very random. Um, so they can happen anytime. Okay, I'm gonna move like down and this way so that maybe Tree Tree can get closer. Oops. Come on, Tree Tree. Oh, wow. Okay, I got the last hit. That's fine. Oh, fuck. No! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, well, Loki, my upper like shoulder back part of me is kind of hurting. So I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. I don't know why I can't get past this one. Maybe I'll grind off stream for this, but we'll play this again on Thursday. Oh my gosh. We'll save Azuril on Thursday. Because I just cannot right now. I just cannot. Bum, 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 bum. No worries, Jordan. You have a good night. Tell Bri I said hi. Alrighty, but thank you all for hanging out with me today. Thank you for lurking. Thank you for the biddies. Thank you for all the fun stuff. I am like trying to get things in an order here, so. I appreciate y'all. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, close out of the game. And I'm not in the mood to like raid somebody tonight because I really just want to go lay down. Uh, Jordan, thank you so much for those end of stream videos. Here, let me reload this. Let me reload this. That way your name shows up now. We gotta reload it, okay. And we're back. <laughs> thank you for all the vids tonight and all the support as always. Again, we got new TikToks going up every day right now. I don't know how long it's going to last, so enjoy it. Um, and then we got YouTube videos going up every Wednesday. We also have the VOD channel, the Discord. Uh, ooh, if you don't join anything else, join the Discord. Because that is where I post about everything. This Friday, we've got a watch party for Yuri on Ice. 
Uh, we're going to watch the first half, the first six episodes on Friday, starting at 4.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can come in whenever. You can leave whenever. It's just a chill thing over in the Discord server. And then we'll do that same thing for the last six episodes on the following Friday. So um, I will see you guys in the Discord. I'll chill with y'all. Um, and yeah, next stream again is Thursday. We're going to pick up right where we left off here. And hopefully my Pokemon will be a higher level the next time you see them. Um, but yeah, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. It's one of my faves. I'm excited. So everybody have a fantastic night. Sorry for the short stream. And, um, yeah, once I, once I get my back health back in order and all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, I'll see you then. Bye.